In this video, we're going to learn how to divide a quantity in a given ratio. So looking at example one, Grant and Jenny have two children, Abby and Ben. And these two children are aged seven and nine, respectively. What does this word respectively mean? It just means in that order. So Abby is the seven-year-old and Ben is the nine-year-old. They decide to share a total of $24 amongst the children each fortnight for pocket money. They share it in the ratio 7 to 9 so that the older child gets a larger portion of the money. Alright, so how much money does each child get for pocket money? So we have A for Abby and B for Ben and Abby is the 7 year old and Ben is the 9 year old. Now, a way to look at this is to think, well, Abby is getting seven parts of the money and Ben is getting nine parts of the money. So he's getting a bigger portion of the money. So if Abby is given, getting seven parts and Ben is getting nine parts, then altogether there must be 16 parts of the money. This is where the pizza method comes into play. I have here a pizza and it's been cut into... 16 parts. Abby, let's say Abby is red, will get seven pieces of pizza. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ben, who will make green, is getting nine parts of the pizza. So he's going to get the rest of the pizza. So what we need to do is figure out how much money is representative of one slice of pizza? We have $24. Now, if we slice that into 16 pieces or divide it by 16, what are we going to get? Let's bring up our calculator. $24 divide 16 equals 1.5 or $1.50. That means that each slice of pizza is worth $1.50. Okay, so let's look at Abby. She gets seven slices of pizza. Each slice is worth $1.50. What is seven times $1.50? We get $10.50. So Abby is going to get $10.50 for pocket money. Ben gets nine pieces of pizza. So nine times $1.50. What is 9 times $1.50? $13.50. Alright, now once you're done, there's a way to double check that it's correct. The two amounts should add up to the total of $24. Let's check that. $10.50 plus $13.50, yes, that will equal $24. That concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this video.